the idea ultimately is ki through an mba through a placement once you get a job the company realizes ki yaar you know this person is creating value for 50 lakhs let's pay him a good salary of 20 lakhs agar mujhe ultimately yahi karna hai if the entire goal is to create value and therefore be compensated for it what is stopping me from doing it during college this is why i thought at the end of third year ki yaar i have a loan of 18 lakhs there are two choices now this is arjit prakash he recently worked for nickel commerce venture capital firm He talks about three things which every Ahmed aspirant must know: his relationship with college and views on placement, his decision of dropping out, and most important, three actionable tips for vulnerability which you probably not heard of. Hey, it's afterwards. The way most people look at the experience of college, or rather the ROI of college, is rather reductory. इसका मतलब कि हम पूरे एक एक्सपीरियंस को रिड्यूस कर देते हैं टू अ सिंपल रेशियो, एवरेज प्लेसमेंट्स बाय द टोटल फीस पेड. The problem with this way of thinking about college is that there are a lot of intangible variables and intangible experiences that college give you that are not included in this ratio, such as your ability to effectively communicate, such as your ability to network with people and give them a feeling that you can be trusted. In fact, in my experience of business, I have realized that if you can make somebody feel that you are a trustworthy person, you can get the job done. You will probably get the job, and this is something that. cannot be included in that ratio of average placements by total fees so most of the times the true value of life and the true growth in your career that you can experience wo aapko intangibles mein dikhega that will be entailed in your communication that will be a part of the way you present yourself that will be a part of the way you think about problems and these are the great experiences of college that are not included in the final metric that is the placement do i regret not setting for placements at i am rachi by virtue of not being part of the mba cohort i do not think so if you ask what will placement lead to having this feeling that i have a job i have a stable source of income to be very frank and transparent i have sort of figured that part of the problem out and agar aapke paas ek decent safety net hai which a lot of us have and we don't think uh, we do have that i would implore you ki ek bar at least socho You know what would life look like if you took a little bit of risk? If you have that appetite, if you have that ability, take that risk as early as possible. Because if you are in college, like I was in college when in second year, I did not have any dependents. So, मुझे किसी को पैसे नहीं भेजने होते थे. I did not have any EMIs, any loan. I did have a college loan, but I didn't have to service it then. So, go for that risk. Take that risk. You know, all this romantic exploration of life being set aside. If we practically see, then you should go to college. If you are in high school, if you are in high school. कॉलेज क्यों जाना चाहिए बिकॉज देर आर आर पीपल लॉट वाइजर एंड स्मार्टर दैन यू तो बेटर बी सराउंडेड इन देयर कंपनी एंड दिस इज समथिंग दैट इवन आई हैड दी प्रिविलेज ऑफ एक्सपीरियंसिंग एक अच्छे कॉलेज जाने के लिए लाइक इट और नॉट आपको स्टैंडर्डाइज टेस्टिंग के थ्रू जाना पड़ेगा इफ यू वॉन्ट टू कम टू एन आई आई एम लाइक आई डेड तो यू विल हैव टू गिव दी आई पी मैट नाउ इन ऑर्डर टू इफेक्टिवली सक्सीड एट आई पी मैट यू हैव टू कीप अ कपल ऑफ थिंग्स इन माइंड एट द एंड ऑफ द डे इट इज़ अ स्टैंडर्डाइज टेस्ट उतना कुछ बड़ा पहाड़ है नहीं इट्स नॉट दी एंड ऑफ द वर्ल्ड इफ यू अप्रोच इट स्ट्रेटेजिकली it is something you can definitely handle what are some actionable pieces of advice i would give you when you are uh, dealing with the ip mat journey well every time you make a mistake do not think it is a matter of aptitude rather it is a matter of thought pattern every mistake you make is ultimately a consequence of faulty cognitive patterns every time you get a question incorrect you were actually thinking something and that incorrect train of thought led to the wrong answer so start reverse engineering this get a diary Every time you make a mistake, log that error in that diary, and then you have to follow the magical process of the five whys. What is the five whys? Well, you ask why the first time. Why did I select the wrong option? Probably you will say, "Ki yar, I thought this question could have been solved like this, and because I had a wrong belief, I ended up at the wrong answer." Cool. That is the first way. Ask why again. Why did I have this wrong belief? Because yar, maine us time is concept ko aise samjha tha. The concept ko jo maine aise samjha tha, it doesn't actually work that way. it actually works in a different way you keep asking this wife three more times jab aap fifth layer pe aate ho you'll have great deep understanding of your own thought process ki the reason you actually made that question have the wrong choice was because aap ek train of thought mein the and from its root to the end there were multiple steps where you might have made a mistake i am very serious document and log your errors create that diary and wo diary aapke ip mat day tak badi hoti jayegi but every couple of days just open that diary You know, go through it and realize that you know thinking like this led me to this mistake. Done. I will not make that mistake again. 
what is another advice i will have for somebody dealing with quants and mathematics well learn your concepts to such great degree of understanding ki aap usko kisi aur ko padha sakte ho with very very simple words complex concepts can be explained simply only and only if you have great understanding of them this is something i used to do when i would you know learn new concepts in mathematics mai apni mummy ko baithata tha and i was like yeah i will explain it to you and you know agar aapke paas zyada dost nahi do it to your family get in the habit of articulating your explanation and jitna aap articulate karoge jitna aap you know verbalize karoge apni understanding ko utna clear hote jayega and if you have great clear understanding crystal clear understanding of topics then you will not make a lot of mistake jo bhi mistakes honge that will be incidental or that will be random matlab aapse silly mistake ho gaya but conceptual mistakes to chale jayenge and even silly mistakes mera 5y method aapke liye actually solve kar dega so have great understanding of the concepts teach it to people and log your errors for verbal ability and english in general uh, the unfortunate reality is that india mein the sort of comprehension passages that we read are not very challenging in school hum stories padhte hain we are not never taught to read complex ideas in a passage format treat yourself to difficult passages read passages from philosophy read passages from you know, literature and read it from an entirely different time zone aise aise cultures ke passages uthao aise time ki history passages uthao aise perspectives uthao jinke bare mein aapko bilkul nahi pata agar aapko thoda bhi idea hai unke bare mein then you are still in your comfort zone read things that you are entirely unaware about and that will actually push you to interpret and analyze things that are not part of your you know day to day uh, thinking patterns and once you have given yourself the opportunity to put yourself in such uncomfortable reading situations n number of times when you encounter a new unseen passage you will know exactly how to approach it the second thing is context ek bahut important cheez hoti hai that enables us to understand the meaning of things without knowing everything about it for example agar aapko ek english passage mein ek word dikhta hai jiska aapko meaning nahi pata one way is you check the dictionary after the exam you know it or you don't and if you don't you just leave it the other approach is ki you understand ki is passage ka context kya what is the contextual meaning and once you understand the contextual meaning you can make a very educated guess about that word what it meant and once you understand context you can start making these educated guesses and the accuracy of these educated guesses will become higher and higher so read difficult passages start understanding context and start making educated guesses whenever you feel you're in doubt all of this being said you know college is important career is important capital value creation is important but at the end of the day life is a lot more than this my honest request to you would be to not associate your self worth not associate the quality of your life with the material successes with uh, your what your test score is do not compare your test score to somebody else's test score do not compare the college you went to with the college i went to with the college your friends are going to because again life has a lot more to offer and if you actually start identifying yourself with what you have then you end up in a great dilemma and that dilemma is that if who you are is what you have and what you have is lost or taken away from you then who are you and on this note i would actually say you know just chill out in life thode maze karo put in the work put in the hours but other than that you know, allow yourself to peace out allow yourself to chill doston ke sath thoda time spend karo have fun and if you are preparing for it mat my friends at afterboys they are building something very very cool check them out uh, and yeah best of luck well afterboys has broken down a mat into 29 topics with full difficulty levels it starts with basic questions so you don't give up If you get it wrong, learn from our really detailed solutions. Before you spend 20-30 k on a coaching, try Afterwards Cut Three Three Topic Tests. Solve questions. This is how you learn. Akush Bihom, the free mentorship on WhatsApp. Hey, it's Afterwards.